are now at DEFCON 2. What the devil is going on, Lieutenant? He surfaced, Mr. President. I'm sure you all recognize this man. We know him only as Yuri, fugitive advisor to Soviet Premier Romanov. While we were busy fighting the Soviets, Yuri was using his mind control technology to establish a secret army of his own. A group of Yuri's initiates have taken Alcatraz Island here in San Francisco. They've constructed some sort of device there. What kind of device? Perhaps I can explain, Mr. President. Yuri. The device is called a Psychic Dominator. There is a network of such devices spread across the globe. More of your mind control tricks? No tricks, Mr. President. In a few moments, I will unleash a tidal wave of psychic energy designed to dominate the minds of an entire planet. There will be no more free will, only my will. Yuri. Yuri, Yuri. The war's over. Can't we all just get along? What if I was to give you a full presidential pardon? Your country needs a leader. It could be you. Why should I be content to lead one nation if I can control the whole world, Mr. President? You can't threaten us. We're the most powerful nation on Earth. We did win the war, you know. Did you? Indeed? I say not. Mr. President, something's happening. The device is beginning to deploy. Call in an airstrike. I want that tower taken out. Command, this is Mojo One. We are on station. Roger, Mojo One. Target is located on Alcatraz Island, Vector 270, at 10 miles. Target acquired. Engage, engage. Francisco, the psychic dominator on Alcatraz will not function. Most unfortunate. But we have other devices. I think time has come to activate them. really going to do it. May God help us all. The situation looks bad, Commander. Yuri's forces have successfully detonated two of his psychic dominator devices, turning much of the planet into mindless Yuri drones. Luckily, the device here in San Francisco seems to be underpowered. It hasn't been activated yet. Stand by, Commander. I have Special Agent Tanya on the line. There may be a way out of this, Commander. Doc Einstein has a new toy. Now, it hasn't been tested yet, but it might be our only way out of this. Right, Doc? Uh, Doc? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is my prototype temporal displacement device. I believe we can use it to transport your forces backwards in time. With luck, 
you may be able to avert the psychic dominator disaster before it has begun. But we don't have a lot of time, Commander. Yuri's forces are trying to capture power plants throughout the city to divert power to the psychic dominator. Well, the docks machine needs power too. So you have to get out there and you have to capture power plants yourself. Hey, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. I'm a field op, I'm not a strategist. And I hate to admit it, but right now I wish General Carver was still alive. If my device works, Miss Tanya, you may get your wish. When you return to the past, contact my earlier self. I may be able to help, yeah? Traveling back in time gives us another opportunity, Commander. President Dugan asked me to contact an old friend once we arrived. I hope you're sitting down. Well, Commander, <laughs> from what I understand, the future ain't what it used to be. Now, our job is to set it right. According to Executive Order 9066, which, uh, by the way, won't be written for another couple of months. You know, a man could blow a fuse getting his mind around this time travel stuff here. Anyway, the gist of this thing is that we're involved until the bitter end. We got a job to do, son. The lieutenant will fill you in. Commander, Yuri has taken control of Hollywood using mind control technology. He's begun to use the media to spread subliminal propaganda. Here's a sample, with the subliminal mind control properties filtered out. We fight a lie or death struggle against the powers of capitalism. Only complete faith in Yuri can protect you. Only total compliance will save the lives of you and your family. Empty your mind and submit to my will. The less you know, the better off you will be. I'm Yuri. Obey me. Gentlemen, our spy satellites have spotted a huge laboratory facility in Australia. Now this has got to be where Yuri has his cloning operation. Intel's gotten wind of his plans. He intends to kidnap key allied leaders and replace them with clones. Commander, some of our best operatives gave their lives to get this information. Let's make that sacrifice mean something. Take out that lab. Good news and bad news, Commander. The outcome of the war wasn't changed. The Soviets have surrendered. The bad news is, Yuri's still at large. The world leaders aren't taking any chances. They're meeting at a classified location to sign the treaty with the Soviets. Per the General's orders, restrict... Good day, Lieutenant. Where is his top secret meeting of world leaders? I... I... can't... Tell me. London... London, England. The Parliament building. The blazes is going on. We've got an unauthorized transmission. Cut the satellite link. Well, blow it to kingdom come if you have to. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Since he can't clone the Allied leaders, he's bound to try a more direct approach. They're meeting in London right now to ratify the treaty with the Soviets. Get to London ASAP, Commander. And you, get a medic out to the Lieutenant. Commander? I failed you. I put the whole operation in jeopardy when I told Yuri that the world leaders were meeting in London. As of this moment, I'm tending my resignation. Oh, gosh! You're a vital part of this team, Lieutenant. If you think you're the only officer ever to have his brain twisted by that maniac, you're free to leave. Otherwise, I won't hear any more foolishness about resignations. Are you with us? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, let's concentrate on finding this madman before he can do any more damage. General, I think I have something. Well, let's hear it. I've been triangulating Yuri's transmission, sir. I believe I've tracked his location. Good to have you back, Lieutenant.
Well, I'll be dipped in molasses. He's holed up in the Antarctic. Okay, this is it, Commander. The whole enchilada. Prepare to move out. Listen to me. You will obey. You behave, or there'll be no dessert tonight. I am Yuri. You will obey. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a nice, safe spot for him to live out his days. Professor Einstein calls it a psychic isolation chamber. <laughs> Thanks to you, Commander, he won't be able to mind control a fly. What the heck's going on? We're picking up a time distortion wave, General. It is the two timelines, Lieutenant. They are merging. One series of events must take precedence over the other. Timelines merging in three, two, one. We are now at DEFCON 2. What the devil is going on, Lieutenant? He surfaced, Mr. President. How you been, Mr. President? General Carville? How? Did you ever hear of time travel, sir? What do you think? The president's having a victory bash at the White House tonight, so I thought maybe you might... You coming, Commander? That wasn't supposed to happen. Professor! Doc! Yeah, you still have that time machine, right? Good. Could you send me back in time like, two hours? I don't think you got your timeline straight. Catch you on the replay.